Hey YouTube, this is your homeboy Seth from Martial Art Fitness. Yes, I shaved and everything, and um, the reason why um, is because I got canned from my job um, yesterday about 4 o'clock toward the end of my shift, and the only reason why they canned me was because it was health reasons, and they... Um, they said they couldn't do it anymore, and so they let me go. No hard grudges, no hard feelings. All I'm going to say is that I'm going to miss everybody that I worked with over the years, and, um, that I got acquaintance with, you know, the ones that called me family, the ones that called me brothers, the ones that called me sisters. There, um, no hard grudges against the workplace, and, um, a new journey in my life, you know, I'll see where it takes me, you know, I am stress-free, and right now, I mean, I have nothing to worry about, I mean, I have a lot of friends that are pulling for me, I have a lot of family that's pulling for me, um, a lot of people are trying to help me out, try to get jobs, you know, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna help myself out too, try to search for a job, but I have a lot of people trying to pull for me, and so, it's always good to feel blessed, and it's always good to feel awesome when you know you have people looking out for you, knowing people that you, you know, people that care about you and your well-being and everything else. And so it's just one of those things, lessons learned in life. Um, water under the bridge, you know. It is what it is, and I can't, and I can't do, you know, I can't change back time, you know, retry to stop myself from doing what I was doing, and, but, you know, it's like I said, lessons learned, and, you know, nobody's perfect, you know, I'm, I'm gonna get that out there, you know, nobody is perfect, you know, if everybody was perfect, this place would be a boring world, and, there's only one person that's perfect, and that's God. And maybe God has told me, hey, you know, you're not happy there. I'm doing this for you. And so he pointed me out the door. And so I guess that's what what his calling was to me, you know. And he says, you know, I want you to find something that makes you happy. And I had I had a vision last night. I had a dream, you know. He told me in this dream, my dream <clears throat> that I'm gonna find some, and you know I'm gonna have a lot of people pull for you, and you're gonna do good. And so, this lesson learned: water under the bridge. You know, as like I said, you know, nobody isn't perfect. You no, know, nobody's not perfect. And if we did, if we were, if we were all perfect in this world, everybody, it, this place would be a boring world. Um, and that's the thing. And I don't think anybody wants to live in a boring world, you know. And it's just a lot of times, you know, in the past, um, I made some bad choices. You know, I'm not going to regret that I didn't. Um, but I learned from it, you know. It's what it's what you learn in the past is what makes you stronger. Each time, no matter what the circumstances, um, it just makes you stronger. And everybody, all my friends, all my family, they say I'm a strong willed person and I, I try not to complain as much and you know, I do what I do. And, um, but it's, like I say, it's all water on the bridge, a new journey in my life, heading forward, and, um, I'm still gonna keep my place, um, but I wanna have to get rid of the dog, um, I don't wanna get rid of her, but I'm gonna have to give her a new home, and, um, I hate to get rid of her, but, you know, hey. You got to do what you got to do, you know, um, just to be able to make it. And 
Well, one of the things is that you got to try to find your true happiness, you know, in life. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to find my true happiness in life. Um, my happiness is family. Family and friends. I mean, whatever, whatever it may be in my journey or whatever it may be in life, you know, I want to still keep pushing forward. And, you know, I'm not going to throw in a towel. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. I just seen a highway patrolman went by. Um, but, oh well, they're just doing their jobs. Um, but, um, so like I said, you know, just be yourself, be who you are, be what you're about. And, um, people respect you. No matter what, I went back to my work. I went in and talked to the big boss himself. And I told him, I said, hey, can I talk to you for a minute? And he he was shocked. And he was like, man, there ain't no hard grudges against me and you. And he's like, no, I said, I just said no hard feelings. And I said, thank you for letting me join this family here. And thank you for giving me a chance. And I just want to say, if I do get out, get a different job, can you put in a good work for me? And that's what I told him. And he said, yeah. And so, like I said, you know, I went back and showed respect. Even though I lost the battle, but I still showed respect um, to the victor. Um, so, you win some and you lose some. Man. That's one battle I lost. And so, it is what it is. You know, you just got to move on. You got to do what you got to do. You know, you got to do what you got to do to live life and not throw in the towel. And, as Mickey would say, um, off Rocky Balboa to Rocky, you know, I didn't hear that bell. You need to get your ass up. And that's how you need to put it through life. You know, life is like a boxing ring. You never know when that bell's going to ring. When that bell rings, that's time to get up. If that bell had a ring, that's, I mean, if that bell had a ring, it's time to stay up. That bell's has ring, then it's time for you to be down. That's all it is. But same as it is, you didn't hear no bell. You gotta keep moving. So a little life motivation, you know, no matter what mood I'm in or whatever, I always try to, you know, make a topic out of it. Because I have to get it out there somehow, some way. And so like I said, it's just a life lesson learned. And just water under the bridge. Just water under the bridge. So, you know, I do appreciate you guys for following me. I'm a subscriber. If you're new, please stay around. Please sh share with your friends and family. I'm still going to have internet. Um, I may just not upload as much. Um, but I will upload it once in a while. Um, this depends on my new job schedule. It just depends on what what hours I work and stuff like that. I might be able to do some workout videos and stuff like that. Um, I don't know yet. It just depends. I mean, whatever man my future may bring, you know. If I can't find nothing, I'll still keep posting. And until I hit that 1,000 subscriber mark. And then whenever I hit that 1,000 subscriber mark, hey, I'm trying to get paid for YouTube. So, um, more I get subscribers and more videos I make. Tell me what you want me to do in um, my uh, videos in the comment section. Um, what are, like, what systems do you think I should learn? A lot of people have been saying that I should try out Savat and, you know, learn some Savat online. And 
I look some Savat techniques up, and um, really technically, Savat kind of reminds me of Taekwondo in a way, because um, it's just the same thing. Um, it's just a form of kickboxing. That's all it is, and just without the knees and the elbows. Um, now back then, Savat um, used elbows and knees and stuff. And they didn't use gloves. So, there you have it. I mean, but the thing of it is, is that I've heard about Savat and everything. I've heard about kickboxing. I've heard about karate. I've studied karate and taekwondo most of my life. I learned karate from other people um, that studied it over the years. And um, they never got up to black belt, but they got, got up to like a purple belt or a blue belt. And they taught me everything they do. And then I was like, okay, well, I need to expand my knowledge. And so I went and expand my knowledge. And I went, like I said before in the past, um, got up to black belt in ATA martial arts, first degree black belt. I was supposed to be in second degree. I had one more midterm. Um, I had, actually, I had, I was on, I was on my last midterm. I tested for it, I passed, but the instructor told me I couldn't get it because of my anger issues, which I controlled it better now. Um, I've been controlling it better now than what I have been in the past. Um, when I was younger, I was mean, I was mad, I was get into fights all the time in school and um he didn't think I was ready for the second degree black belt and and but he knew I was ready for that first degree because at the time I was channeling that anger and in the rage on the maps. But it was just the fact that he didn't trust me because I was learning other styles from other people on the side and that he was afraid that I would misuse what I know for the wrong reasons. And, but he, he caught that. And I, I told him, I said, you know, then I would have to quit if I don't get my second degree black belt. And I said, I have the money right now. I want it. And, and I said, I paid for the testing. I said, you already gave me the testing. I want my belt. And he said, no, me ain't getting it. And I, and I said, okay, then. I said, I'm taking this money back. I walked out. And he tried to stop me, and I told him no. And so there you have it. I mean, and then I went to ITF, Taekwondo Federation School, and learned the hard, hard style of Taekwondo. Um... I, <laughs> I love that school more than the ATA because the ITF Taekwondo taught me how to be aggressive in the ring and be more of hard knocks and hard knocks than um, hard knocks and then just the flowery forms. And so the ITF taught me more about self defense and then. The ATA, but ATA self defense system. Only thing about ATA martial arts, uh, American Taekwondo Association system, their self defense is Krav Maga. That's their self defense. And that's what they will teach you for a self defense class. Um, but when now, if you want a good kickboxing cardio workout, something like that, then ATA Taekwondo is a good way to stay in shape. Because it is. You know, they do like a kickboxing cardio workout class. Um, they do the same thing over and over and over each day of the week. They have a schedule. What day you're going to be doing this? What day you're going to be doing that? What day you're going to be doing this? And then it's Monday through Fridays. And they'll have a set pattern, set schedule on how they want to teach the class. I mean, it's did it over and over and over. 
and which I was kind of noticing it, and I was like, why are we having going over this over and over and over when we already know? It. Let's learn and move on and do something new, and or like learn how to use these weapons in a fight, and <laughs> and the choreographer for fight, and uh, and they said no, and he's like, "Where'd you learn how to do stuff like that?" And I said, "Well, I do it all the time in my yard, and with people, and they'll try to sort of fight me and everything with sticks, and we'll just do it like how the Japanese did it back in the day." And, and that's the thing, you know, a lot of people um, really don't take me serious when it comes to training, um, but I am easy going. Um, the last person I uh, trained was Alex. Um, I hadn't seen him. I hadn't heard anything out of him. And I told him I don't want to be friends anymore. Um, that's probably a good reason. Um, and then my lady friend that I was talking to, uh, she kind of quit talking to me. And so around here in town, so, it was like, okay, then, she wasn't meant to be in my life, so, it is what it is, you know, you know, moving forward, moving strong, um, it doesn't matter what happens to me, I'm always gonna go out like a champion, that's the way to be, and, um, I will find something, um, it's just gonna take some time, and like I said, you know, I'm gonna trust it to God, I'm going to trust it to him, and I'm going to trust it, um, I'm just going to keep it in his faith, and that's what I'm going to do, and so there you have it, Seth Marshall Art Fitness, and like I said, this is a lesson learned, water under the bridge, and you know, I thank everybody for supporting me, and like I said, leave a comment down below, Please um, share it to your family, share it to your friends, and uh, please hit the like, hit subscribe. You'll get every one of my videos, and I'll see you in the next video. But it's like I said, I just had a shave. Feels weird. It feels weird now, but I had to, and it's because it makes it look good for the interview, and. And whenever I get the job, I'll ask them, say, hey, can I grow a beard? And they'll be like, if some of them say, yeah, you can, I mean, why did you shave? I'm like, well, it's for a job interview. Just to, this, it's just to have an impression. And that's what I was always told. I mean, every time when you grow a beard out, always go to a job with a clean shape chin. Now that you look really, really good and resentable for your boss, for your new boss, or whatever, and then go from there. And like I said, please hit the like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. And um, I'll keep posting. I'll stay motivated, and I'll keep posting and do what I got to do. You know, to help you guys out there, to help me out there, and help each other out there, support each other, you know, be true to everybody. Be true to yourself, be true to your friends, be true to your family, and, and be real. And that's all I say. Peace.